I started my engineering career at Google. I worked there for six years. I got a chance to re-architect their web search infrastructure system. What I really learned at Google about building big, large-scale distributed systems, that really comes down to building in layers, where each layer is individually robust and resilient, and the layers expose clean, simple interfaces to interoperate between the layers. So let's take what that would mean for Rubrik. And Rubrik, we want to build the data management solution which manages the entire data footprint for customers across geography and time. Right? And that sounds like a daunting problem, but let's see what it really means, what you really need to build in order to solve that problem. The first thing that you need to build is an infinitely scalable file system. And by infinitely scalable, it needs to scale within the data center, across data centers, and as well as into the cloud. Secondly, you need to build a metadata system that scales at the same rate as the file system. You need to build a version management system to handle the time dimension of data. Uh, you need to build a workflow management system so that you can implement your different policy engines. And just to tie it all together, you need to build an API layer that gives the customer access into this overall system. At Rubrik, we've built the state of the art in all of the layers above, and they together allow us to provide a complete cloud data management solution. You know, at the end of the day, designing great APIs, it's really all about balance. On the one hand, you could kind of leave the system to work on its default mode, and there is a self-learning system which allows us to essentially operate and learn about your environment and do things very efficiently. But at the same time, we realize that whatever amount of learning we put into the system, it's not going to be enough. We really want to give the control back to the customer, so any of the defaults can be essentially tuned via the API. A classic example of uh, all of this was something that a user in South Florida did. Uh, you know, Rubrik provides APIs that allow you to do DR. Now, when would you like to do DR, right? For in the context of South Florida, what made sense was when there were hurricane-scale winds coming towards my data center, that is when I would like to trigger DR. So what our user ended up doing was he looked at weather.com APIs and he paired it with Rubrik APIs to trigger DR to the cloud when wind speed exceeded 100 miles an hour. So this for me is like a perfect affirmation of what we did with the APIs. It was about exposing the right level of control that allowed the customer to make the system work for their requirements. Every time I meet new candidates who want to work at Rubrik, I get this one question asked over and over again. And the question is, what is the secret sauce of Rubrik? And I find this a very hard question to answer because it, you know, for me, at the end of the day, you know, the Rubrik system ticks because there are a lot of great, awesome components that have all been built to be very strong and robust, and they're all coming together to build the final Rubrik product. So it's not just about the supremacy of the file system. It's about how the file system pairs really well with the metadata system, how the version management system works together across the file system and the metadata system. All of these things come together to build Rubrik.